Today I'm going to be painting a background for a future painting. And I'm going to do a winter wonderland. And that's going to be fun to paint on later with some trees and maybe some snowfall. But I just was kind of in the mood to paint a pretty little background. And I'm going to use this today. So it's got a personal feel to it. My True Feel KY Premium Silicone Lubricant. It's 100% dimethicone. So that way, I put a couple drops in my colors, and uh, we'll see if I can get uh, some good cells out of that. Here's today's mix. I have a um, my uh, phalo green blue, which is really pretty. I actually love this color. It uh, look at this color. Um, it's so it's like a magical color. It looks different than a lot of my other colors. It's got this extra shine to it. It's so pretty. It reminds me of like car paint or something. It's really, I don't know, it's got like a shine to it that a lot of the other paints don't have. and It's almost oily looking, only it's an acrylic. It's really, really pretty. When I look real close, and I don't think you can capture this on the camera, but when I look real close, it just seems so smooth and shiny. It's, it's just so pretty. It's a really, really pretty color. Okay, so I'm going to use my that phalo blue green today and then I'm going to use a neon blue a turquoise blue and my uh, this supremium paint super premium paint it's lavender or whatever a lilac but it's a semi gloss and it's really thick so I've had to water that down a little bit and add my um, some of my uh, I put a little matte medium in with this actually and then um, also in the uh, where to go where to go here we go and this is a semi-transparent paint the phalo uh, green blue and all the rest are opaques and then I did have uh, I, this white here it's a folk art it's a little glitter it says extreme glitter but I didn't have much left so I only had a couple drops that I put in this one white that I'm going to use so I don't know if that's gonna show up or not but we shall see then I have two metallics I have this uh, enamel that's a sterling silver. It says superior color coverage. It's a gloss finish. And uh -huh, it says dishwasher safe. Hmm. Anyway, and then this one is a superior coverage. It's a metallic finish, but it's an ice blue. So I've got that. And then I also had one more. Let's see where to go. Um, I must have put it away already, but it's like, you know, if you've heard of the gold leaf, this is a silver leaf in a liquid form. And we're going to... Uh, play with that today. So a couple quick things before we get started. I wanted to share with you, I've painted a lot of walls. I've done some murals on walls and on large surfaces, the paint smell can be overwhelming and it lasts for days too sometimes, especially in a smaller apartment or a place that doesn't get a lot of air circulation or even like in the winter time when your doors and windows are shut and you just have to kind of use some fans or whatever. So the paint smell can give me headaches and I notice that sometimes when I spend the day painting and stuff like that I do get headaches and I don't always wear a mask. So I want to, um, speaking of mask, I want to mask the smell and I've done this for years. I've added a, a the thing like a, it's by Glade. It's a paint additive and here's a picture of it. It's, um, this one's called Crisp Waters. And this little packet here would do a whole gallon of paint. But what I've done was um, added three or four drops. I think I put four drops in each little cup that I have that I use. And uh, we'll try that. And I've done it before. And it smells really good. And it makes my painting smell really good. Even when it's dry, it smells awesome. And I really like that. So I'm going to start doing that more often to my paints. It smells like an air freshener for your room. It smells really good. And the other thing I was going to tell you is what we're going to do today when I paint my background. I'm going to try something different. We all tilt and we try different things and different experiments and if you tilt too fast you get the jagged edges and if you you know don't use certain things or whatever you don't get the the right look that you're going for. So what I'm going to try today is something different. I'm going to shake my painting and I've made a homemade little thing here 
and I put it on a yardstick because I have a few of those. And I'm going to shake my painting back and forth and up and down like this, side to side rather, and like popcorn. So I'm gonna, like I'm making popcorn. <laughs> and I'm going to see how that turns out. And um, we'll give it a try. I want to thank you guys today for joining me at the art table. Let's have some fun today. I'm going to paint a winter wonderland background. And then I'm going to paint some trees and stuff on there later on. So this is just part one. I don't know when I'll do part two, but we'll check it out and see when I feel like doing that. Might not be till in the fall or something. Because I'm going to paint some trees on there. Some pine trees, maybe some birch trees. Right now, I'm just going to do a little painting here. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm having fun. I love to paint. I just got off work and it's been hard to try to follow some of my passions and paint when I have to take care of everything else because like I always say, it's not hard to be a single mom. It's hard to be a good single mom. <laughs> So it's really tough sometimes, and I'm sure I speak for many. Okay, boy, I'm getting lots of bubbles I see in this already. That, oops, I bubbed you guys. Bubbles in here, and I usually don't have that many bubbles. I have a different mix today. This is just my white that I actually mixed with um, my sides there. I actually mixed with uh, my Floetrol. I did not put any dimethicone in here. So, only in a couple of my colors. Actually, all my colors. <laughs> I take that back. All my colors have dimethicone in it. And I did use the KY Jelly today. The, um, where is that box? The True Feel. The True Blue True Feel because it is 100% dimethicone. So, my personal lubricant <laughs> makes my painting personal. Okay, so let's go. Actually, I just bought that at Walmart. It was like nine bucks. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I got this thing here that I made. And I'm going to shake the painting a little bit. But I'm going to dump that right there like that. And dump another one over here. Do this one like that. Trying different design here. Getting a lot pouring up here. So what I want to do now is keep it level. Getting quiet on you guys, but I'm gonna check this out here. I wanna Okay. Now I'm gonna shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oops, it's tipping, tipping, tipping. I tilt it, it looks like a little heartbeat right there. I let go of it here. I guess this little shaker thing wasn't very sturdy, huh? Shake it this way now, like popcorn. It will look pretty once I add some of those winter trees on there, I think. This will keep all that, I'm um, trying to spread that heavy paint out of the middle. Hmm, actually it's kind of pretty. I'm going to tip it and see the sides, but I won't do that. Just trying to keep it level as possible. Shaking like popcorn. My butt's shaking and my boobs are shaking. <laughs> you guys, 
Oh my goodness. Woo! Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your paints. Shake your paints. After all, when you buy a big gallon of paint in the store, they shake it up, don't they? Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow, looks pretty. All that thick paint is coming on down off the sides. There we go, let's see. Looking good. I'm afraid to let go of it because it seems to want to rock forward. It's heavier on this side because of the, uh, the way I taped it on there. So I'm going to have to put something in there to keep it like that. See if I can level it this way a little bit. Let me see something here. What can I put in there, y'all? There. All right. You know what? Let's take the little torch to it. Let's see. Going to. I like it. It's different. It's unique. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Torch is kind of going out, you guys. And there it goes. <laughs> well. It's okay, you know, because I'm going to be putting snow on top of this, so I don't really want, uh, I don't really want a lot of cells in here. I mean, little dotted cells, anyway. I think the cells I did get are pretty right in through there. I did use a lot of Floetrol uh, this time around, too, but this is real pretty here. Let's go on down and check it out, everybody. Okay. Let me turn this other light on. See if that helps. Okay. Up here, we have some good-looking stuff. That um, blue-green is coming through kind of pretty. But that metallic gold, or um, silver, I mean, looks like it looks kind of gold, and it's popping up in there. I wonder why it looks gold. Or more like a bronze. And just that small spot, too. It must have been something in the paint that mixed. Now, there it looks a little silvery there, but actually it looks more gold. Just silver on the edges right there. Well, kind of looks like a little ice cave. <laughs> That's kind of unique. Hmm, I don't know what to think about it, but like I said, this is going to be a background, and when this dries, I might do um, a little more white and a mint blue, and then use like a white and mint blue like a border and a background on the bottom, so it looks like some snow piling up. Okay, thank you for watching.